Tahlequah Fire Department hosted 40 girls this weekend for the 11th annual Camp Fierce. The camp is a two-day all-girls fire camp, giving them a look into the life of a firefighter. Fox 23's Bailey Coyle talked to volunteers and campers about what this camp means to them. It's a full circle moment for campers and volunteers at Camp Fierce this year, hosted in Tahlequah. Um, to be able to see them first as campers and then getting on the fire in the uh, Tulsa Fire Department and being a career firefighter and then taking on the role of this uh, all women's uh, fire camp. In 2016, Jamie Mickish with Broken Arrow Fire Department was helping with an all girls firefighter camp. That's where she met Alexa Reed and Kendall Taylor. They were campers at the time. Now, six years later, Alexa and Taylor are running Camp Fierce, a firefighter camp for girls ages 15 and up. They never thought that the fire service was an option for them. And now, not only do they see all of these female firefighters showing them that they can do this, but they have 39 other girls in this camp that is working hard and it shows them that they can do this. One girl, Alexa, Taylor, and the other leaders are inspiring is Jordan Bread. This is her first year at Camp Fierce. Her goal is to be a career firefighter. Going into the live fire, being able to crawl through small places and doing all the things that they're teaching us has just been extremely inspiring, not to just like myself knowing that I can do it, but to the girls that are around us. One of the leaders, volunteer firefighter Alani Davis, attended the camp two years ago. Now she's back after starting her journey to become a career firefighter. Pouring into the youth and just being a vessel to them and just learning from different backgrounds they come from as well has been amazing. The organizers say they plan to have Camp Fierce again next year and hope to inspire even more girls. In Tahlequah, covering news that matters, Bailey Coyle, Fox 23 News. The camp is hosted every year in October. Next year's location hasn't been decided yet.